Aurora's Birthday Party Once upon a time in the enchanting kingdom of Aurora, the sun shone brighter, the birds sang sweeter, and the flowers bloomed more vibrantly than anywhere else in the realm. Princess Aurora, the beloved Sleeping Beauty, was about to celebrate her twenty-first birthday, and it was going to be a grand affair. The entire kingdom was buzzing with excitement, and Aurora had a special surprise planned for her special day, a birthday party with all the Disney princesses. Aurora had been in a deep slumber for many years, cursed by the wicked fairy Maleficent, but thanks to the bravery of Prince Philip, true love's kiss had awakened her and she had been ruling the kingdom with grace and kindness ever since. The day of the party finally arrived, and the castle was adorned with roses of every color, Aurora's favorite flower. The majestic ballroom was transformed into a scene from a fairy tale, with glittering chandeliers and a grand banquet table that seemed to stretch for miles, filled with all the delectable dishes the kingdom had to offer. Aurora, resplendent in a beautiful pink gown that sparkled like the dawn, greeted her guests as they arrived. The first to arrive were Cinderella and Snow White, followed by Belle, Ariel, and Jasmine, all dressed in their finest gowns. Each princess brought a special gift for Aurora, wrapped with love and tied with ribbons that matched the colors of their own dresses. As the festivities began, Belle and Aurora took to the dance floor, gliding gracefully in a waltz. The other princesses joined in, and soon the entire ballroom was alive with the sound of laughter and music. Tiana and Rapunzel prepared a delicious feast of gumbo and lantern-shaped cupcakes, while Mulan and Pocahontas entertained the guests with tales of their adventures. Elsa and Anna, the sisters from the Kingdom of Arendelle, used their magical powers to create an enchanting ice sculpture that sparkled in the light. Merida, the fiery-haired Scottish princess, challenged everyone to a friendly archery competition in the palace gardens. The evening was filled with joy and enchantment as the princesses shared stories of their kingdoms and adventures. Aurora felt grateful to have such wonderful friends who understood the trials and tribulations of being a princess. As the night grew darker, Tiana, with the help of her friends, created a stunning display of fireflies that illuminated the courtyard, casting a warm and magical glow. It was the perfect backdrop for the grand birthday cake, which had been baked by none other than Aurora's fairy godmothers, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. It was a multi-tiered masterpiece adorned with roses and sparkles, and it took everyone's breath away. Aurora made a wish and blew out the candles, surrounded by the love and friendship of her fellow princesses. With a twinkle in her eye, she knew that her twenty-first birthday had become a truly unforgettable event. As the clock struck midnight, the princesses bid Aurora a fond farewell, promising to return to the kingdom whenever they were needed. With hugs and laughter, they departed, leaving Aurora with a heart full of happiness and cherished memories. The kingdom of Aurora continued to thrive under the benevolent rule of their beloved princess, and the memory of her magical birthday party with the Disney princesses would be talked about for generations to come. It was a celebration of love, friendship, and the enduring power of happily ever after. The end.